Yeah, hello there from Duval where temperatures are heating up and so are efforts to combat a serious problem discovered by one of the newest members of the scientific community. A concerning issue that the county says was discovered just in time. Made a decision to homeschool last year with the pandemic and she mm -hmm. chose to do botany for her science and I had been worried she might get a little bored, but she just really like embraced it and loves science and loves plants and so. So you use this nature book to figure out there was a problem in this lake behind you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Maggie teaches me a lot of stuff. She loves plants and nature and is a very keen observer. So she's taught me many, many things and this is just one of them, but yeah, we're really proud of her. She has a really kind and responsible heart and so it's nice to be able to help the community and be making a difference, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. A tadpole. So this is what you found? Yeah, except I found the native kind, which is smaller and not invasive. Well, that's what we found first. Yeah, and then this and then was right found, next to it. Yeah. When we heard that there was a uh, Egeria in Lake Rasmussen in Duval, it was really shocking to us because it hasn't ever been found in the Snoqualmie watershed. This is a super invasive aquatic plant. And I just really like nature and care about it. I want to make the world a better place. Maggie, the wonderful plant detective. So what she discovered is this plant doesn't normally occur here except where it's been introduced. You know, and the Snoqualmie River watershed is our biggest watershed here in King County. It's home to some of the largest wild salmon runs remaining in the county. How do you think it got in there? They think either it came in on a boat or it was in someone's fish tank and they dumped it. Egeria is a plant that was harvested from South America and mass produced for the aquarium trade. But then she had the civic responsibility to go, hey, mom, we gotta tell somebody. Maggie, what's it like to be a member of the scientific community at the age of eight? Mm, 